I've had m- many a beer at his tent here at State <laughs> Fair. <clears throat> yeah, it's today, even. <laughs> <laughs> a couple, actually, yeah. <laughs> I wish. Uh, and it's the 25th anniversary this year for Benno's. And the guy, nice. the guy behind it, Benno himself, is is with us. And you guys are you're yeah, Benno fitting office, from his uh, presence in the studio. Yeah. Well, it's kind of cool, guys. It's not a tent anymore. We finally built yeah. a solid structure in the location. So the other night when it was raining real hard, I actually right. slept through the whole night. It was kind of nice. Really? Something How nice is that? Now, now you've yeah. got uh, you've got Benno's. You've got the microbrew. You've got yep. the wine garden. Yeah, Wineberry. Uh, yeah, that's brand new this year. Yeah. yeah. So it's, what's what's in the what's in the wine? Oh, we got wine by the glass. Kind of a new thing here at the fair. Uh, we set it up on the north end of the amphitheater. It's kind of a quiet area, kind of a tucked in, try to find a cutesy spot. My daughter designed it, which is very obvious because I obviously didn't design it. It's very, <laughs> it's very nice. It's a woman's I would, touch. All I would have had a wine garden sign there and a couple of Perlex, that would have been the end of the story. <laughs> she did a really nice job on it. Yeah. Now, one of the things that about being here for 25 years, I mean, you've seen growth. Oh, yeah. Like, ginormous proportion, but you, your family has grown. I mean, your kids have grown Certainly up in the fair. They've all worked for you. My kids all grew up in the business. Family, yeah. family business. Yep. My son-in-law's, you know, my main guy, and it's been very interesting. You know, we started off with one spot. We gained a few. We lost a few. Tore some buildings down. They moved some buildings around. And here we are today. We got a bunch of locations, and it's just really entrenched in the fair. The fair is a really, really the big deal for us. How, how's the fair gotten better? Wow, that's an interesting question. Microbush certainly helped the fair. There's no doubt about it. You know, um, the operation of the fair. We have a new fair director this year has come on board, uh, Rick Fernet. He's a fair guy. You know, he's in the fair business. Mm-hmm. He understands it. Uh, Kathleen O'Leary does a fabulous job. Their whole staff. She's a really good And yeah, that's why I'm nice to her. Yeah, you know, <laughs> she wants to go to the mine tent later. So, anyway, all that being said, <laughs> how's the fair guy better? Um, a lot of good stuff. Well, I mean, just every year we talk every about year. getting bigger and better, yeah, but in your, in your world, because you see it differently than a lot of people that just come oh, yeah, as a vendor, it, it yeah, we get you know, a lot better facilities, you know, a lot better quality products. There's so many fly-by-night kind of guys that that kind of fair thing that people, you know, kind of felt. Right. A lot of I got a great answer to that, by the way, because, you know, I'm wrapping up my career here, and right. so I've been doing this for 41 years, yeah. not at the fair, but when I came here, they were talking about closing down the fair park. Yeah, I remember coming nice. to the fair, and they had all these broken down old buildings here. Yeah. And they were thinking, well, we can't afford to do this. We don't make enough money. We're going to just, just cl- close it down. Well, you look at what's here now compared to 40 years ago, and oh, that yeah. attitude, and somebody got a hold of that and turned it around. Certainly did. So, Well, you got 11 days. You know, you got, you got this retirement thing coming up. You're know, you kind of used to coming here for 11 days every year. I could probably find a spot for you. Well, I could do that. Yeah, I could do that. But one of the things I want to do next year, assuming the station still broadcasts from here next year, I want to come in and make faces at whoever's the moron that's sitting in here <laughs> next year, because that's when I get all you know for all these days. And we've been out here. We're going to borrow years. Dan O'Donnell's baby diapers if you do that. <laughs> there you go. Well, you're going to be wiping it on the inside of the window, though. So we said we were wiping it on the window. Yeah. Yeah, but see, poor and beer, you get to talk back to people. You know. Yeah. Well, yeah. they make faces at you too. Same deal, guys. But you can talk. To them. Yeah, actually, they probably make funnier faces. Oh, yeah, much funnier. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, we got baseball coming up, and Bill's got some sports. Congratulations on 25 years. Yeah, by thanks, guys. Yeah. This was a surprise party for me last night. Nobody can keep a secret in this place. They did. I had no clue. Tremendous. Very cool. All right, Bill's coming up next, and uh, so is the 6 o'clock news and all that good stuff here on News Radio 620 WTMJ. That's it for the greenhouse. Say bye, everybody, in the thing there. Bye. They're so easy. There's this crowd's a pushover.